Hello, Internet. We're back. Me, the Loremaster, and Wilson. Wilson is at the controls this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I forgot to do a thing. There we go. Now we're recording. Okay. <laughs> the now... recording doesn't matter. That's just for actor stuff. <clears throat> anyway, the Stanley Parable, and due to um, a suggestion by a commenter from, I don't know, sometime last year, uh, we're going to be doing the demo first, and then, I'm told it's short, and then playing the actual game. And that's why we're here. Uh, what I want to draw your attention to first is this achievement right here. Vigi Games, you won. Only 0.1% of players have this achievement, which tells me it's really, really difficult to get, or people are just really, really lazy. I think people are just lazy. Right. They don't even bother with the demo. Just jump straight into the game. Okay, so with that, I mean, I, I want to go through this achievement if uh, if we can uh, get it. If we can't get it today before getting into the game, that's fine. I'll try to get it off camera. Um, and if people are like, hey, I really want to see you get the achievement on camera, I guess we can do that someday. Uh, but, you know, without, with all that out of the way, I guess it's time to get in the game. So, Wilson, whenever you're ready. I don't know how to do this. Well, you got a mouse there, you got a keyboard, and you got a play button. I guess I just hit this play button then. Okay. Launching. Doing something. Blue screen of death. Uh, why is it over there? Why did Steam move over there? I can't see stream stuff now. Um. Okay, we might need to fix some options. Hold on. Uh, okay, first of all, let's go to options. Video. Uh, can we go higher than that? Like, can I right click to go? Nope. So 1280 by 1020. What? Wait a minute. Let's go. There we go. Widescreen. That's right. Uh, we go 1920, 1080. Yes, there we go. Uh, full screen laptop. This is not a laptop. Overall, uh, I guess. Build advanced. Advanced. Uh, anti alias. Wait for vertical sync. Uh, multi core. Shading detail. Shading detail. We can go high. Very high? Okay, very high. Effect detail. Let's go high. Okay. Model texture. High? Yeah, high. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell, I didn't set up any of this off camera. Uh, I can. Oh, the mouse can go off camera. That's that's a little. Oh, what I do? What did I do? Um. Whoops. Okay, so let's see. I think we're still streaming. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're still streaming. OBS is still here doing its thing. Okay. Yep. There's you moving it back to the main screen. Okay, so YouTube you is getting that. us excellent yes. connection. Okay. Uh, <sighs> ah, the trials of doing things live. Okay, so now we're back in the game. Um, stuff is being weird over on my other monitor, but that's okay. Okay, so back. Changes have been made. Discard current changes? No, do not discard. I guess that's cancel. Back again. Go to cancel and then click OK. Oh, okay. That no. Derp. Wait, what? Okay, okay. So, um, why is YouTube getting it? Oh, okay. It's it's updating. Okay, I think YouTube is up with uh. What we're doing now, I think. Mm. Okay. Two-hour stream, uh, just us dicking around with the controls. Okay, I, I think we're actually ready to begin now. Okay, so, I've never played this game. I don't know anything about this game, except for it's uh, like a walking simulator comedy kind of thing. With so let's begin. Mind control. Mm. Or maybe no mind control. Or maybe a lot of mind control. I don't know. 
We're loading, I think. Maybe? We're just loading one loading, though. Or we have a lot of phantom loadings. That must one be the mind is, control. one is Oding and the other is Loa. Mm. Yep. That must be all the mind control. The Stanley Parable demonstration. That's short for demo. No, wait. You know what I mean. Shut up. Uh, mm. Is the audio working? Because I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything either. Did you kill the audio? I, I don't think so. You have a oh, oh, okay. You're supposed to mouse. What? That's crazy. But but before we do anything, let's, let's uh, hit escape. Options. Audio. Okay, That's so I'm hearing volume. little flickies. Music, speaker, yeah, it's all the way up. Yeah, I'm hearing flickies, so that, that should be fine. Sound quality high, closed caption none. Do we want closed caption? Yes, that is yes. very useful to people who have trouble understanding the words. Subtitles like only? Full caption? Uh, subtitles are fine. Okay. Resume demo. Okay, so we're in a uh, warehouse. Of some sort. The such. field of view is off. It's just ugh. Yeah. It's got like that weird warble like a fisheye lens. Yeah, it's like we're looking through like a, a five millimeter focal length. Orange witches! <laughs> uh, wonder how I interact with things. E. E. Try E. Nope. Maybe there is no interact. Wait, can you jump? I don't know. What is jump? Uh, it's usually spacebar. Nope. Not today. Uh, what does that say? Stanley Parable Demonstration something or other. I can't tell because of a... Oh, demonstration. This way. This way. <clears throat> Wait, look at the cars. Which one is yours? Can we get a drink? I, I I might be thirsty. I know I have a body armor, but I might I might still be thirsty. No idea. Yeah, maybe we don't have money. You trying to smash the car to get money? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like Street Fighter, you beat up that car in one of the mini games, get you a lot of money. I'd never play Street Fighter. All right, well, the people I'm, in the I'm audience they know. Games. Our our two viewers might know. Right now, it's one. Well, there's at least two people that view us. Welcome to the Stanley Parable demonstration. Your number is twenty-eight. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have our, a pleasant demonstration. Our number's being displayed, so... Um... I guess we enter the demonstration area? Oh, we can't go back, apparently. It's locked. Okay, so apparently mouse is interact. Because I heard you click it and then... Yeah. Fiddling with the, the door. Fiddling with the door Ooh, thing. Oh, painting! Can you zoom in at all? It doesn't look like it. Mm. Mouse wheel, nothing. Try right click. I see club! That is like an 80s style telephone. Yes. So we are apparently in the 80s. Or in a facsimile of the 80s. Oh, check out the painting. It's a leaf! It's a lot of leaves with, with, with wetness on them. <sighs> uh... 
This is very suspicious. Warning, do not stand on this side of fence. This this side of fence? This side of fence? The, the side that we're on? I can't get back there. I'm standing on the wrong fence. Oh, and the door closed behind us. Who did that? Waiting room. Please wait for wait, your Is that a window to and, your... Uh... Yeah, it's a boarded up window. Oh, okay. Not for public viewing what goes on here in the... Uh... The, the area between reception and the waiting room. What if you just charged in ahead before your number is called? They also took out a skylight. I refuse to wait in the waiting room. Famous demos. Do you recognize any of these? Uh, wait, what, what, is, what is that one? Is that Metal Gear Solid? I think so. What is this? Uh, it almost has like some Starbound vibes to it, but the background is wrong. Is that one of the Wolfensteins? Maybe. Or maybe it's Quake? the hell is this? Uh, I have no clue. It looks terrible, like PS1. Well, apparently it's a famous demo. <laughs> oh, it's an ah, actual it's window with oversaturated lights. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. wait. Go back. We have windows there. And that... What? Oh, we missed our number. The wall where the window is. It, and then... What is the outside of this building shape like? Wait, what is that? What is... <gasps> Someone spilled their coffee, no! Interesting. That one is boarded up, but those are not. This is most interesting. And actually, there's, there's a lamp on... Wait, wait, where, where's that lamp? Up. Up, 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 around, up. See, right there? Oh, it's hanging from the, uh, the, the scaffolding, okay. I thought it was just, like, hanging from the, from the skylight. Well, we've totally missed our number. It's, like, up to 50-something now. Well, we charged in ahead of our numbers, so, you know... It balances out. Books! Can we read any of them? Nope. They're all blurred. Pixels! Pixels and more pixels! Oh, can we grab the loot in that? Look at that. Right there. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim. I don't know anything. Hmm. I can't get over how silent hello, it is. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Stanley Parable yeah, live quiet. demonstration. It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. A tease. Just enough to leave you hungry for more. How exciting. Can't you just feel that nervous tension? The looming uncertainty. Why don't we drink in the anticipation for a moment, just for 20 minutes or so? Please, for just 20 minutes, don't move or act in any way. Simply remain motionless and let the thrill of demoing the Stanley Parable wash over you. I don't want to remain motionless for 20 minutes. This might be how you win. Ah! <laughs> So oh, that wait, means put it. Oh. You know what would really ramp up the anticipation? If I gave you a little tour of the facility and show you how we make video I game we demonstrations. Were supposed to remain yes, you'll be simply motionless. out of your mind with anxiety. Come along this way. Ooh, secret door. But you just said remain motionless for twenty minutes. 
I think well, we he already moved, so... Supposed to do what it says. Yeah, totally not my control. Construction facility. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. Video game demonstrations are tricky, and without the proper technology, you run the risk of the player having no idea what to expect in the full version. Mm hmm. Very untidy. Even more untidy. Well, at least they didn't spill their cup this time. I feel like there's like a rogue cat just wandering around the entire facility, just like knocking things over. Like, oh, paper. Meow. Now it's on the floor. Oh, coffee. Meow. Now it's on the floor. So, do you hear footsteps? It's like a ping pong ball going down the steps. Well, it is a cheap game. Ah, here is one such technology. These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. That's a lot of buttons. All, choices carry tremendous meaning and consequence. Didn't you know that? Go ahead. Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press and we'll see what your choice says about you. I'll bet he's just going to make something up. I mean, it doesn't even matter what button you choose, except maybe choose that one specifically. This one? I don't know. Not, I don't think they actually matter. How fascinating. Did you know that 94% of all people who select that particular button are sexual predators? You see, Interesting. Our choices really do illuminate the very intangible nature of our minds and souls. Pervert. <laughs> It's your choice, by the way. No, I I pointed to that one. No, you pointed to that one. No, I pointed to that one. Oh, we can't press them again. Okay, what else can I show you then? This place is the buffalo of game design. Nothing it's a is buffalo? wasted. Compliments. Buttons and choices, wall technology, fragile, final choice, emotion booths, uh, phantom corner, compliments. Let's try compliments. We're already up here. Here is where there is nothing. In the main game, however, there are many more places where there is nothing. If you've enjoyed this experience of a finite amount of content, then the Stanley Parable may be just the game for you. I love it. We totally need to play it. There's like nothingness and dark corners and empty spaces. And buttons! And buttons. <laughs> oh, and windows. To isolation chambers. Uh huh. What's the red? Out one? of order. We can't even get up there. Hence why it's out of order. Too bad we don't have our portal gun. Get all these hidden spaces up there and everything. Well, else. we were up there. So, I guess compliments? Uh, I guess. Mm -hmm. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That is true. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. Oh boy. It's an upside down smiley face. I'm more concerned about the truck. It's like probably just gonna dump I'm, compliments I'm out sure on it's us. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. 
my heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. Just look at you go. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. We're really good at pushing top buttons. 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really can't think of anything else to say. Uh, no, no. You've really exhausted my list of compliments. Really? Goodness. Really? Fast. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Okay then, what's next? Try to get. Nope, it went out. We Aww. can't. Get in the back of the truck. Steal the truck? It's in the wall, we can't. Smash the wall? Nope. Mm. Uh, okay, I guess try that one. Demo status. Before I forget it. Put wall technology and final choices. I think we should save that one for last. Final choices? Hmm. Demo. This device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Are we? Somewhere around here, there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Is there a device that tells me whether or not I'm inside a device that tells me whether or not I'm inside a device that tells me whether or not I'm inside a video game demonstration? No danger. Nothing in this room will kill you. Oh, you gotta go inside. Are you that eager for the demo to start? Don't worry, we're almost there. Well, I mean, so far the sign is right. Nothing has killed us yet. Tops. Wait a minute, that's not an actual device, it's just a thing that hangs there. Mm -hmm. It's a sign. Yeah, like a little light bulb. Demo right now. Demo off. Let's learn about wall tech. Hmm. Now, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Wow! Give it a shot. It's a door. It's a wall you can walk through! Maybe it's that right there. Oh. Hmm. Guess it's still in development. Oh. Right. Okay, moving along. This is terrible. I love it. Yeah, you're having the same problem I had with Portal. Getting How's stuck the on... anticipation? Still feeling it? Yeah, it was like just on the side of the door. So I got stuck instead of mm. like, you know, pathfinding across the door. Mm. Hopefully they fix that in the full version of the game. Since this is just the demo. Emotion bolts. Now here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. Discovery or despair? Which do you want to feel? You want to feel despair? That's... Where did these cliffs go? These crags that we stood upon. 
They shielded us from our own ignorance. King of the bees. Spoke coddling words. Fear. Boons. Modesty. That so many times I tried to set aflame. If I knew these comforts now. Loved by ducks. I be any more sensitive to the heat of my touch. Perhaps it was the cold I desired most of all. Alive but only knees. 80s my montage. Was invisible. Healthy breakfast. The bones List of emotions. To be touched. Booths. And to be known. Sharks! Deep shame. <laughs> Where did these cliffs go? King of the These bees, you're at the bees. Wikipedia. They shielded us Anticipation. from our own ignorance. Robert Spoof. Coddling words and wrapped our vulnerabilities French. in a woolen cloth that so many times I tried to sit in shade. Unprepared. These comforts now. Just you are at the beach. Any more sensitive to the heat of my touch. Orange. It was the cold Things about umbrellas. That empress to whom my flesh was always invisible. A hammock for the bones. Waiting to be touched and to be known. We good with this now? You want to try discovery? Sure. It was though and within the shame he carried that ocean. Failing twice. Regrets. The fierceness of the tides. The inevitable collapse of their kingdoms. Washed Almost a bear. bear. Bereft of shame. Despair. Void of a cause. Sure. Leftovers. Mr. Foots, 12, teams. unable to fall. Respect. Stuck. Buying the Stanley Parable. The wind, Not uncomfortable. Admitting how great fear. you are. Some German memory, accent. If Obama. Could Feelings. Times veneer, hashtag, hashtag. Sugary on fire. 12. Apparently we can only discover once. Can we try confusion? Embarrassment? Do you, do you really wanna? They're not open. No. Confusion. Now I'm feeling sadness. Now, now, we have to save at least a few emotions for the full game. Courage. Happiness. The cowardly dog. I guess we're done here. Oh, you went in both booths? Oh, how vulnerable of you. If at any point during the demo you need to cry, just let me know and we can take a minute. You need to cry? Yeah. Yeah, I need to cry. Did you how want to cry while know? looking at art? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, art! Okay, you're not crying? Mm hmm. Final choices. What was left? I think that's the only one left. We did the wall tech. We did buttons and choice. We did the demo status. We did the, uh, the, uh, the that, the compliments. Can't get up there. And down there's nothing, nothing down here. It's over the isolation chamber. Well, it's got to stay isolated, you know? We can't go in there. Mm-hmm. All right. The final choice. Space. The final choice. Exit or... Do you like the Stanley Parable? Oh, option C. Hmm. Well, you don't want to go vote? Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective. Whether it's conveyed the wit and soul of the Stanley Parable in such a compelling way that you reach immediately for your credit card to purchase the main game. Spoiler, oh, I already bought the main so game! I'm excited to hear your response. I really do think we've crafted something special here, and I look forward to hearing whether or not you agree. So, do you agree or disagree?
No! What are you doing? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't played the demo. What? You put so much work into this demonstration. Wouldn't it be a shame if you rushed right into making a purchasing decision without savoring it first? Let this one simmer. You'll have plenty of time to decide later. Okay. I guess we go to the exit. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how video game demos are made. Oh, this is a demo about demo making. We're not in the actual demo yet. Wait, that what? That that wasn't there before. I could draw. This is a completely different room. But it looks the same, even though it's different. It's the same and different at the same time. However, it's still important that we address safety concerns. Please closely observe the following possible negative side effects of playing the Stanley Parable. Mm -hmm. If you agree to be held 100% responsible for any and all injury or long-term damage, mental, physical, or otherwise, that may occur while playing the demo, please do not press the large red glowing disagree button at this time. Nothing? No objections? No, I don't You're see what sure that is. That. Oh, well, all right then. In the event that you do experience one or all of the previously listed symptoms, <coughs> let's establish a signal for you to convey to me that you wish the demonstration to be terminated. Please step into the dance perimeter. The, the what? The dance perimeter. The dance perimeter. Okay. Please perform a dance. Uh... Your dance has been recorded. In the event that you feel confused or disoriented by anything you see inside the demo, perform that dance and I will terminate the demo immediately. So basically you right. just gotta look around a lot. All preparations have been made. It is time at last. Are you prepared for the Stanley Parable? Is that just a really bite room? Yeah, that's a really bite room. Really bite room? Wow, I can't talk already. I'm feeling confused. I need to look around. You, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm looking around like I'm dancing. Because I'm confused. It, it's just a really white room. It, it's like so evenly illuminated, you can't even see the corners. Oh, there's a corner. <laughs> yep, I found the corner. Our number is still oh, wait, Oh, what? it's... What are we doing Welcome here? Welcome to Did the Stanley not... Parable Demonstration. Your number is 29. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Okie dokie! Is anything different? Okay, uh, I'm lost. Let's just get back to the green room and start the demo again. I must have done something wrong the first time. The number's not changing. Oh, there it goes. It's going to take forever to get to 29. Okay, you know that no one is checking numbers, right? You can just go. You could do it right now. Literally I mean, we right did it before. Second. I don't know how no one ever figures this out. We could be back at the demo by this time. Are you, are you enjoying this? Watching numbers tick down slowly. Well, please, don't let me stop you. If somehow you're associating the joy of this room with the joy of playing the Stanley Parable, then by, <coughs> by all means, continue. The full version of the Stanley Parable contains all the ecstasy you are now experiencing and so, so, so much more. 29, right? Yes. 
Are, are you assuming there's a, there's an achievement for this? I have no idea. Because I mean, if if there is, we we already didn't get it because we rushed ahead the first time. Twenty nine. Show me twenty nine. That was a long twenty seven. And we can move on now. The demo. Those are the same. Yep. It's the same room. We had books there the first time. Yes, we did. And this is now the secret door. Okay, here we go. The Stanley Parable Demo Take 2. Finding the demo, learning exactly what the Stanley Parable is... Here it comes. Okay. Eight. Oh, wait. What's this? It's an eight. This is odd. Why are those there? What are those? Wood. They're wood. Eight. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Eight. Wait, it's, this is all wrong. This isn't the Stanley Parable. This is a game where you press a button and it says eight. Not only eight. is the Stanley eight. Parable not a game about continuously pressing the number eight, eight. eight. I can guarantee that eight. this button does eight. not appear anywhere in the main game. Eight. Eight. Why eight. is it here instead of the demo for the Stanley Parable? Eight. Eight. Where did the demo go? There was eight. an actual eight. demo here before. Eight. Something eight. has gone wrong. It's all gone eight. horribly eight. wrong. We need to get you out eight. of here before you start eight. forming impressions of the Stanley Parable eight. based eight. on whatever the hell this eight game is. It's we fun. need to get out. We need to eight. start over. You mustn't stay here another eight. minute. Out, eight. out, out, go, go, go. Eight. 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 Now, I think perhaps you've misunderstood me, so let me reiterate as clearly as I can. This is not the Stanley Parable. What you are doing is pushing a button over and over that eight. does nothing but eight. speak the word eight. eight. Has that gotten eight. through? Eight. You may be continuing to press this button under the impression eight. you're playing the Stanley Parable eight. right now. An assumption that is, eight. I should remind you again, eight. entirely erroneous. Eight. It's fun! Eight. 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 Doesn't even make sense. Why would I have gone to all Eight. of this elaborate setup just to demonstrate a game that doesn't do a single thing Eight. except repeat the word eight? The I don't know, room, because it's the fun. Room, the tour of the facility, eight. all of that for no reason other than to contextualize and build up this eight. particular game. Why? Yes, why would he do this that? This game deserves any of that time and attention. Eight. Are you seeing something in it that I'm not? Eight. Eight. I'm seeing eight. Eight. I'm actually saying, uh, eight. or right now, one, two, three, four, eight. eight. Okay, here's the deal. It isn't possible that you still think this is the Stanley Parable. I've restated the fact too many times, which means that you are now consciously choosing to delay the actual demo as long as possible. Is that it? Are you afraid of the Stanley Parable? Are we? I suppose another possibility is that you can't hear me because you're playing with the eight. sound off. In which case, what are you even getting out of this egg eight. game in the first place? This eight. scenario is eight. perhaps even more concerning. Eight. Eight. So what are we doing? Eight. eight. You really are finding this amusing, aren't you? The experience this, of pushing a button. Th this is all we're doing. We're we're is this messing with him. To you on its own? I've played games like this before. I mean, you, you just keep messing with it. Idea, but it's not all the way well, there. I mean, yeah, but I mean, what uh, are we doing? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This is coming from the person who sat in the waiting room when the door was open, right there. If you're the kind of person this demo is targeting, I guess I should be a little concerned for our sales numbers. Now I'm making the game doubt itself. 
Hmm. Eight. Or is the game confidently delivering Eight. the dialogue that it Eight. thinks that you want to hear? Eight. The funny thing is, you haven't even played the Stanley Parable yet. How can you be sure that this is a better game? Is this simply more compelling than you imagine the Stanley Parable to be? Yes, Have you sell formed out. such a rich vision of the game already? What exactly sell. did I do sell. that gave you such sell. a miserable, awful impression of what it's like to play the Stanley Parable? Was it the dance? Yes, it was almost certainly the dance. Hmm, I regret that now. Eight. Do you? Eight. 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 Well, the good part is that if this is your metric for quality in a game, when we do get to the Stanley Parable, you'll be thrilled. I better be thrilled. Blown away. Every one of your faculties will be enraptured by the experience of a game that does anything more than say eight over and over. Yes, I can't wait for your entire world to be shattered and rebuilt. A magical moment we'll all share together. Are you giving up? Well, he's talking some big hype about magic and everything. Oh, so. goodness, finally. Now, let's get back to business and start this demo over from the top. All right. Do I leave the room? I guess so. You said start from the top. Hmm. Well, the door closed behind us, so we can't go back. Yeah, they're still the same. The coffee is still there. Were you trying to drink it? It's on the floor. It's time to pick it up. Are you that thirsty? We should have gotten a drink back in the drink machine. Welcome to the yes, Stanley yes, Parable yes, demonstration. Time. Your number is 30. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Uh, I don't think we can... The door is locked. I guess this is the demonstration area? Oh, he wants me to go back to the very, very beginning. Where it all started. Oh, you can get a drink now. Okay, now let's take a minute to get something straight here. When you sit down to play the car door's open, you are assuming an amount of responsibility for its outcome. Now, I can't say for certain whether you cause us to encounter the eight game rather than the Stanley Parable, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption that you had something to do with it. At this time, please take a minute to think about all of the mistakes you've made in playing this demonstration, as well as your mm. lack of respect for demo taking in None. general. I have made no mistakes. Keep going, dig real deep. Nope, no mistakes. Nope, no mistakes. None. Wonderful. I could really feel the introspection on my end. Now that we're all on the same page again, I feel ready to attempt the demonstration once more. In this third attempt, we shall truly come to understand the meaning of the Stanley Parable. Let the demonstration begin. Okay, but get a drink first. I mean, you were trying to lick coffee off the floor. Most likely coffee that, would, that had been knocked to the floor by a cat who tried to lick it up and then didn't like it because it tastes like coffee. So it probably has cat slobber in it as well. You're you're licking cat slobber coffee. I guess you still don't have money. None. But they're out of order. I can't tell. Darkness. What? No 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 no! no. It can't be over yet. You didn't see anything. Everything that was supposed to demonstrate why the Stanley Parable is a quality experience worth your time and money. It was here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to get out of here. We have to find something for you to do, anything. The demo cannot end like this. Now, hurry, hurry, this way. Okay, what's the hurry?
it's a light. I'm waiting on him to do something else because he's like, hurry, hurry, this way. I don't think he's doing anything. Might take a minute. I still don't think he's doing anything. Okay, yes. This is new. This is different. Surely there must be a game somewhere in here. Okay, okay. Oh, how about this cup? Yes, go pick up the cup. You finally get to take a drink! Alright. Now put it, um, um, in the bin. What? You gotta take a drink first. Just like, like, lift it up and pour it in your mouth. Lift, lift it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's how you drink. Don't lose it. We might be stuck here forever. It's like Skyrim mechanics. You did it! You won! You know what you get for winning? An achievement. Wow, the Stanley Parable just Only point one percent of players in got fact, that. Let me take a little survey of your experience. Gamers, I am Based sad. I am disappointed in so you. Far, would you purchase the Stanley Parable? I already have. What, what eh. You responded, What a clear and straightforward demonstration of the merits of the Stanley Parable. I am convinced of the quality of the full game. Incredible. We sound nothing you like that. You really do get it. You understand? Oh, I was so worried. Did you see how tiny the text was? You what I couldn't see even read it. Parable. What I think makes it, well, special. It's so very difficult to put into words. Oh, we're all beyond that now, aren't we? <laughs> Come along. Let's get to the end and the final choice. This is all the things that we've been seeing. The boxes, the... Well, you know, game developers scenarios. recycle uh, assets all the time. It saves Look, on there's RAM. the buttons. There's the your number is. Yeah, asset recycling. Random boards. I mean, remember my, uh, my solar wood... Um... Ending, ending, where are you? Okay. Where are you? As I was saying, my solar wood uh, render had only like two trees in it, even though it was like almost the entire forest. Disagree button? Well, it's not attached to anything, so... But it's lit up, so it should be. Oh, that's the end. You can tell this because of the it. sky. Be beware of Enderman and the dragon. Yes, the end. Now, this is where we want the demo to be over. And I think it's time for you to log your final decision as to whether or not the Stanley Parable is any good. And it all comes to this. Please consider very carefully before answering. Much is at stake. Why, the fate of the universe? Oh, this is option C. Okay, should we do the obvious thing and hit yes, or should we do the not so obvious thing and hit no? Um, well, he kind of wants us to say yes. I and know. We'll, we'll, well, technically, I've already bought the game, so we answer no, we're gonna right? Play it anyway, so so we answer no, right? Yeah, just to piss him off. Is it working? I, are, are you sure? You sure you? Press the button. Oh, what? that's annoying. No, we, we finished the demo. Did it start again? Hello? Is anyone there? They already finished. They said they liked it. I need someone to stop the demo. Hello? Hello? We need to go back. We need to get out of here. Hello? Hello? Oh, 
Hello. Uh, whoa. You broke the game. Oh no, what's going on? Where is everyone? Okay, over to the left, down this way. Oh, that chair was comfy. Oh, nice and quiet, finally. Well, I suppose we can both agree that I failed, haven't I? My job was to be a teacher, and I so badly wanted to teach you exactly what the Stanley Parable is supposed to be, but, but somehow I couldn't. I, uh, well, at any rate, I don't know if I care for the Stanley Parable any more. Do you think any of this is actually in the main game? Probably not. Honestly, I doubt it. What would that even look like? No, I think I've had enough of it. No more doors, no more demonstrations, no more endings. That's the other problem with this game. There's too many bloody endings. I'm sick of them. How can one game end so many times? It doesn't make sense. Oh, but back at the beginning of the demonstration, now oh, that was lovely. No concerns about where it was all going. No confusion, just a blank slate. Yeah, kind of like life. I want a game of beginnings. Hey, <laughs> do you remember just a few minutes ago when we met for the first time? Not really. And I showed you the technology used to make the demo because I thought there actually was a demo. Oh, <laughs> oh we were so naive back then. How little we knew of the world. And then when we ended up back in the waiting room, even though you'd already done that before? Yes, it's all so fresh in my memory. They were such wonderful moments. Oh, and then when we played the game with the cup and you won. And this then is we like life. Wandering and we ended up in a stairwell somewhere and we just kept climbing and Wait, climbing. Stairway, flight what? After flight after flight. I thought they would never end. And then we were on some kind of catwalk. What? I didn't have any idea what was down there. Did you? And we just I don't remember this. We found that elevator and it said escape on it. And we talked about it for a while. About how we couldn't possibly know whether this was really an escape. But that it seemed worth a try. And at the very least it would be an adventure. So we got inside and we rode the elevator up and up and up. And we had some sense that the end was coming. But we couldn't possibly know when. And then after so long it finally stopped. And we stepped out into the lush outdoors, the trees, there's, there's the wildlife, no the sun rising on a new and glorious path. Freedom. We were free. There was nothing to think, nothing to know. Simply us being right there in that moment. Wasn't it so beautiful? I, I, I don't see the moment? outside. So singularly, piercingly beautiful. Open the door. We were free. I think he's hallucinating now. Uh, this is not freedom. This is an office. The, there were no people in there, but there's people noises. What? Okay, so, um, thoughts? What the hell? I, I think the narrator got a little uh, delusional at the end. Maybe he's been delusional this entire time. So, are you ready for the full game? Uh... <laughs> wow, it took us an hour to do that. Uh-huh. Well, hey, we got the achievement that 0.1% of people got. Again, gamers, I am so disappointed in you. Out of all the people who started the demo, only 0.1%, less than 1% of you, 0.1% of you actually put the cup in the bin. One. I mean, I mean, that's, that's so messy. We put the trash in the trash. 
Wait, it's point one. That's a tenth of a percent. Yeah. I mean, seriously, people, put the trash in the trash. You just don't leave it. You don't just leave it lying around. Uh. But I guess we're done with the demo now, and I guess we need to put steam. But we need to put steam. We need to put steam. We we need to put steam. We need to put steam. My Brain mouse is the acting Stanley up. Parable now. My mouse is acting up. It, mm. See, it does. It does. Okay, now it wants to click and drag. Okay. No, you go there. Okay, there we go. Okay, here's the actual game loading very slowly. Uh, let me get my Windows set up properly because I'm kind of OCD a little bit about these things. There we go. That's there. Okay, no looking at the uh, community content because that could contain spoilers. Okay, so I guess we uh, play whenever you're ready. What achievements do we have over here? We got 10. Complete Beat the Stanley the game. Parable. Quit the game and then start it again. So we'll get that all the time, right? No, so seriously, there's no we disabled it. Uh, this is an achievement. You get it for doing something. Click on door 435 times. Got to remember to do that. The eight button. Eight eight the eight, eight button is in the game. Uh, go outside. Don't play the Stanley Parable for five years. So it's going to take us about five years to get this one. I've seen a, a meme about this on uh, Reddit. So after we finish this, you're going to have to remember in five years to replay this for the achievement. <laughs> Internet, remind me. Uh, our, our two viewers, remind us. <laughs> hmm. Assuming you even remember our channel exists. Assuming YouTube even exists in five years. That would suck. Actually, about five years, YouTube is probably just going to be like, you know, television. No YouTubers, just like big time television, like Conan O'Brien and, uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. whatever else is big on TV these days. So it'll be like Netflix and Hulu is now? Yeah, but you're pro probably more like, like, like old school television content, but on demand. Mm. But for free with ads, unless you do the subscription thing. I mean, let's face it, YouTube is already moving that in that direction. Yeah, it really Even is. Even PewDiePie is hurting because of it. Anyway, whenever you're ready. And my screen is going to mess up again. I just know it. Yep, yep there we go. Yep, yep. I'm going to have to fix that. So first of all, options... Options. I uh, like this. Op you options. see that? It's Op options. in the thing, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, but we're in a computer. I get, I get it. Options. Video. Uh, okay, it's it, yeah, that. And then 1920... 1080? Well, okay. 1920, 1080. Game? Game? It doesn't go that high. What? It goes to 1680. Game. Oh, widescreen. There we go. There we go. 19, 20, 10, 80. Uh, laptop savings the same all over my position. Feel of vision advanced. 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 Uh, anti is is a double buffer. Multiple render enable. Shader detail goes as high as possible. I got the graphics card for it. There you go. Anything else? Uh, this should be it over here. It's gonna take a little bit to update. Okay. Uh, audio, audio everything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Subtitles. We we might want that. Mastermind Again, the joy of doing things speakers, live. Sound volume. Hi. Subtitles. Okay. And... Okay, and, and one thing that I gotta do. I mean, we can go back. Uh, I gotta go over here. Move this back over to here. Mm -hmm. And then get this over to here. Right? Okay, yeah. Put that there. 
Mm -hmm. And then we go back to the game. And everything is fine, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and then YouTube's gonna do a little delay. Yep, there it goes. There's keyboard delay. mouse. Edit keyboard, reverse mouse, disable acceleration. Okay, so no changes there. Quit. We're done. Okay. Good. Mm. Oh, come on, we we got an hour to kill. We can we can be inside a computer for an hour. Mm. Wow, it's... this this is this is like such a metaphor for gaming and life in general, already. Do you see this? Yes. Look at the screen. Just says the screen. Just says the screen. You can just make out that the, the well, flicker well, of the mouse. See, this is kind of what it's like to use OBS on your on your main screen. <laughs> you get the infinity loop kind of thing going on. So I'm used to that. Well, I'm not used to that. Well, maybe you should record videos, then you would get used to it. No, I don't think I will. Begin the game. End the is end is never... never the end. The end. The end is never the end. The end is the end never, is never the, the end. end. The end is loading. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Closing time. Okay, I can't do that. The end is never the stuff. end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is loading. Like I said, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Mm -hmm. And I can't sing the song because of copyrights. Yep. You're gonna and, and I'm a terrible singer because and, and people will throw things at me. Yeah, this you're gonna lose on this one. Man named Stanley. Oh, that's this, you. This video this will game. be taken out. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four. Hey, we saw this at the end of the demo. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed the buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every, every, of every year. Is and it supposed to hiccup like that? considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. This is what work is like, by the way. Exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Well, except for that part. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say... The sound is hiccuping again and it's annoying. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I think you're supposed to step out of your office. Oh, I get to, to do my thing now, okay. Eight, 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 e
They Not just to discriminate. stand here and sharpen pencils all day. So, so this is the station of the designated pencil sharpener. Mm-hmm. How, how bad is it when we have to invent stupid jobs? Who farted? He who smelt it dealt it. Like, I like work just hat. not my boss. What, what, like, could you like orbit around that a little bit? Just hate. Oh, just hate my boss. Okay. Ah. And this one is smile. Smile, maybe, because it it's, it's kind of shaped like a smile. smile. Yeah. Or maybe it's bile. Or maybe this it's is my bile, bile cup. I reserve this cup for drinking bile. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, I think everybody got raptured. Stanley's just a dick and didn't get to go. What was we supposed to do? Room what? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't we? What? what? Did we just come out of our office again? There's 427. 431, 436. 431, 436. This is... Nope, this is lower. But that, that's 426. 426 is right next to our office. Because we're at 427. I mean... I mean, go, go back, go back. We can confirm this. We can confirm this. Just gotta go back. Go back to 427. That's four eight five there. No, that's four B. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's four two seven. Mm -hmm. Let's go all the way down there. Four two nine, four two eight. Where's four two six? Four two six is over there. But it should be next to four two seven. We got 428, 429, 427. But 426 is all the way over here. But then we have the 430s over there. This is 420 to 426. Should have read that more. It said username something something. This looks like some kind of weird that spreadsheet document. Apparently they exist before the uh, screensaver in power save mode. Locked. Just need to pick up a chair and bash the window. Well, that would be impolite. Also, it's odd that we had those odd, like, those, like bare concrete hallways outside mm-hmm and where do they even go the, the the concrete hallways I mean I'm sure we'll get into them eventually hey is that paint again oh and and look down look down you want to drink it Yeah, what was that one we were supposed to click on? 4.30? I don't even remember. Where is it? Okay, maybe not this one. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the Oh, that one! Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay, we gotta do it 20 times then. Hmm. I have to 
to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks. Oh, will come be. on. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Yeah, the problem there is that the game is throttling you. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, <laughs> a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Okay, I'll help. Why I'll don't help. you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? What? 20 clicks into 417? Oh, we got a quest. One hour of us clicking doors, people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Okay, that, we've got 420 down there, so wait, wait a minute. Okay, there it is. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Where is 437? Um, it's 436. 430. Oh, you bastard. Sending on us on a wild goose chase. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Two infinities later. <clears throat> there it is. Now, back to door number 437. <laughs> oh. It's behind you. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Oh, that's different. What does a copy machine look like, even, anyway? This. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. What did I say? A game about mind control. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Can you even do that in this game? Climbing on, on, on a desk with 419. Oh, he's further down. Yeah. It's 418. Wait, 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 go back. It's 418. Try the other side. Jump. There is no jump button. How do I get on his desk? Yes! Oh, like that. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. He's getting more excited. It's almost like we're dealing with Wheatley again. <clears throat> We've almost got it! Now the copy machine do that one again! Are we almost there? Is this it? Is this the is this the final leg? Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes, we did it. Oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. How long was Just that? Think, only a few minutes ago, you believed oh, 17 minutes, give or take. was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? I think he got more excited about it than I did. <clears throat> well, that's one achievement out of the way. Uh, what's next? Um, I think we're supposed to go to a meeting room or something. And then push eight like a billion times. Oh yes, and get an achievement. 
There's an achievement for that. For what? It's an achievement. An achievement for what? They? No, it's getting an achievement. It's an achievement. Oh, getting an achievement is getting an achievement, yes. What 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 is what does that say? Uh sales in this quarter. Oh, their sales are going down. The when company Stanley is came taking. to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Or This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure, why not? We, we, or, or we could, like, stare at the calming ocean for, like, half a second. Whoa, what happened in there? Somebody had a tantrum. Uh, more untidiness. Oh, we gotta turn the computer off! Well, never mind. Is that the lounge? That's not a very inviting lounge. It's kind of creepy in there. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh, look at the curtains. Remember those curtains from the 80s? Mm-hmm. They were, like, in hospitals and stuff? Yeah. They call like, yes. Venetian blinds really, or something? Really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really It's, it's nice it. and quiet. You know, th th there's nobody around. That's nice. I mean... People are annoying. At this point, Just look at me. Obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly <clears throat> on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. I love it. Sarcasm. Dry humor. So great. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. To keep waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Wait, look, look at the wall. Like right there, that little blue reflection. Mm -hmm. What is making that reflection? Nothing, it appears. Lighting glitches. Oh, that's not even a reflection. That's just part of the wall. It's a painted on reflection. It's a fake reflection. This entire thing is fake. Mind control. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Or it's dark and creepy in there. We don't go. We don't want to go in there. Whoa! Wait! 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 Look! Look out! Look out the windows! Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. So don't lie down. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. That is true. So, what, what, what kind of building is this? I mean, we have, like, the warehouse right here, but then we have, like, the, the main executive offices over there? Because, I mean, that, that's where you put all the, uh, the pencil pushers. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, obviously this is like a very upscale kind of business because they have like a huge warehouse and a lot of employees, but the executives and the warehouse are in the same building? That doesn't make any sense. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. And death. So will it cause death? Will it cause death? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Will it cause death? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yeah, we oh, win! Man, Stanley, everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yeah! And we start over from the very beginning. But at least this time we don't have to, um... Wait, where's the computer? Oh, over there. Okay. <laughs> but at least this time we don't have to go through the whole, uh, 430 thing. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Username, access... Can't read any of the words. All right, check the one on the other side. The the, the one on the other 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 side. This is the same one with the like no, no, spreadsheet over, over. thing that we couldn't. That one's emptied. Eight eight four twenty man. And, and, and look look at it look at it. Over to the left. Just more to, to the left to the left. He's even got herb next to it, man. Uh. Yes, I'm feeling very proud of myself right now. You would. You would, you goofy little penguin. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. See, now, don't we have to hang out wow. in the, uh... Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Do we have to hang Thank out here until the narrator gets bored again? On his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I mean, they are nice paintings. I mean, I mean, we got the leaf, we got the ocean, we got the... What's the other one? We got, we got, uh, at this point, we got the mountains. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. And reflected poorly on his overall personality. We got a road. It's possible that this is why everyone left. A creepy road in the middle of nowhere. That's a dollar twenty-five. That's about right. Modern Stanley day. sat around waiting for more dialogue. But why does but everything look like it's in the eighties? And there was no more. He in the eighties, it would be like fifty cents. Was trying to send it. Maybe even last, twenty-five. He'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, this time we don't die. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Ooh, we're getting backstory now. 
This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I feel like the narrator's lying. Alright, there's only one option. Going back through the door, taking the lift back. Uh, well, I mean, we, we know what's back, right? Do we? Well, I mean, we came from there. But we've not been there. See, it's a room. Full of boxes. Lot. Curd. Point four four. Shipment. Blah, 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 blah. Shipment number. Lot number. Oh, it's made of recycled cardboard, too. That's, that's nice. That's environmentally friendly. Did they have that back in the 1980s? Mm, don't know. I don't know why, but everything in here makes me feel like it's the 1980s. Bulldog. Apparently we're not authorized to use that. Or we just don't have the key. Spooky. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Should we? Should we? I mean, what, 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 what would we even say? Um, oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Um. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? Knew it. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Run away. Sorry, but you're in my story now. That wall just came out of nowhere. This is kind of a nice apartment, although it's this kind of tiny. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Well, we did fall off a platform. Good morning, employee 427. Press Y on your keyboard. Or... Was that there before? Yes. Right, pick up the mannequin, throw it at the window. No, pick pick up the. Okay, we can't do that. Guess Can not. at least get a cold one before you know I inevitably die. Not even a beer before death. Even communists give you like a cigarette and a beer before they kill you. It's terrible. Well, I think in Russia that we have vodka. Yeah, same difference for them. Nah, really, because the alcohol is a lot more than vodka. That's what I was saying. The vodka is like their beer. <laughs> They're such OP alcoholics. And you just insulted all of Russia. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alright, press Y on the keyboard. Or any other key. Like maybe that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. We're going to press every key but that. It's 
Still no jump. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. <coughs> Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now this is work, kids. He's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming <coughs> back to work. One might even this is what the school system wants you to do, kids. That he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Or you can make it happen. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face <coughs> of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Poor the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Oh, we can go Down places. one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down um, another was a yellow line. It's no longer the, the living room. It's now like an office. With a baby. And he called it <coughs> the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Do you see this? Slowly yep. becoming. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Now the game is messing with us. Mm. The game wants us to not do what we're told. Which means that if we don't do what we're told, we're effectively doing what we're told. So do I press it or not? Well, if we don't press it, it could be a very, very long wait. I'm okay with this. Hmm. Well, I guess while we're not pressing the button, we could talk about, you know, the meaning of the game. Because, <clears throat> I mean, th this is modern, post-industrial work life. Yeah. The life of the 99%. Mm. Wake up, do what you're told, follow monotonous tasks and mundane bullshit to just fill the void. Do this, do that, file this. And then escapism, 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 rather than actually pursuing something that has actual meaning, 
just go through the exact same routine, monotonous routine, doing nothing, Six, and pretending. Eight, ten hours a day, fantasizing about doing something while you're doing this boring job, then going home, eating dinner, playing with the kids for a little bit, going to sleep, waking up, and doing it all over again. Every single day. This is what the school system teaches because they wanted you to be like this back in the old days. And, and, and it hasn't changed modern, that much. Unfortunately, the modern world, it can't function without menial workers. And somebody has to do it, so we might as well teach everybody to do it. And hey, if you have some gumption and, and some free will, then maybe you won't do it. Maybe you'll become one of the 1%. Maybe, even though nobody's telling you how to do it. Because, I mean, that's a secret that the 1% keeps to themselves. You have to think outside the box in order to break the mold. But you can't just smash the mold with a hammer. You, you have to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you fail. And then you get pulled back into the 99%. Oh, yeah. and, and don't even get me started on, on how the uh, school system conditions you to hate failure. Yeah. Like, you got an F. That's bad. Don't ever do that again. Failure is part of life. If you're not failing, you're not trying hard enough. Yep. Failure is how you learn. In fact, as Tony Robbins says, there's no such thing as failure, only results you don't like. And every result is a learning experience. Yep, you have to crawl before you can walk and fall before you can run. And the game is still waiting for us to do something. Do you hear that? The clock ticking away in the background? Has it always done that? Yeah. I just find that amusing. Now that we're being quiet, I can hear it more clearly. Still no jump. <clears throat> uh, achievement unlocked. You can't jump. <laughs> you see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I well, get I mean, we him did to that see before. what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Is eight. this is this the eight, eight eight? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Uh, hello game? I didn't do anything. Oh, loading screen, okay. And we're back here. Okay, so I guess this run through we need to do what the game wants us to do, maybe? Maybe? Question mark? Is it the last or time the game was... Is this a different run? <clears throat> I mean, did, did we, like, make progress? We gotta look for stuff that's different. All these offices look alike! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Nope, nothing's changed. No 
Okay, I guess we did die. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, new territory. Oh, that's bright. The outside is a supernova. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Weekly target, marketing Monday, mergers, something private time, pranking floors meeting, group 40x, group 45x, this party. box is too small, eight bird, termination Tuesday, office efficiency, legal, question mark, group 41, group 46, IT department, we're broke Wednesday, financial panic meeting, Bosses inspection group forty two group forty seven eight bird uh something mergers it isn't just stood there doing nothing at all <laughs> he seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating we little were detail reading. Of his ability to do anything this is why Stanley and I are on such Free good terms. review of weekly reviews weekly reviews. Pranking floor five meeting. What to do about 432. Don't tell 432 about the meeting. Group 44, group 49, an office party. Did something going on at 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, go to the upper right. A little more upper right. Rip France. Rest in peace, France. Employees. 417, 491, 431, 405, 416, and Jim. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished Gerbders. Complete oh, today's agenda unfinished items. agenda items and write next day's agendas and reflect. <clears throat> the future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Oh, that's some time travel stuff right there. Uh, push for funding for research and development of new coffee machine. Standardized graphs, 40 X wide, not cost efficient. Get Chris out of the broom closet. He's in the closet. Synergize papers. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire the paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergy guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of something was <laughs> right. Oh, hey, um, Shogun 1980? TPS report. DPS? Oh, wait, wait, we got, we got something out there. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work. All the time. I can't read that fast. How to solve a dispute with a coworker. Let it ball up inside of you. Take it up passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more and let it ball up inside. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic on the header and throw some bevel on the text. It Everyone is unique. You most of all. I don't know, the dudes wearing suits look a lot alike. Number, Number slides slide. on this slide. Charts, charts and slides, slides. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, mm. first one that got my name right. Uh, yeah. Rate of which charts on the same slide depict the same information. <laughs> Rate of increase in graphs per slide. <laughs> Please, Please, no, no more charts. charts. Please, I'm begging you. Stop, 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 stop. The boss appreciation minute. Circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to your boss appreciation specialist. Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another Jill and employee like yourself and more inclined towards conflict <coughs> unless you're the kind of person to intimidate conflicts, why did you hire you? Something, something. What, what are your dreams of the future? Success. A boat. 
Plant life, spring break, hope. Mitosis. Clear skin. <laughs> Football. Pollution. What was that? Less air? So if the tips for not getting fired. Uh, do I believe with no expectation of promotional requisition? Don't get fired. Okay, uh, we're back in the beginning. Uh, this is terrible, and I love it. Uh, to do. Synergize. Core value. Expenditure. Shift. Global. Marketing. Parade. Monetize. Free to play. Monetize. Free to play. Microtransactions. <sighs> Help. So this is a game development company. Help, I've opposed it. <laughs> I can't read any of that. Quarterly pie chart profits. Uh, pie. I see pie. What do people want? Things. The stock Happy market is somewhere. Feelings. Somehow Mike, James, you are fired. Colored in segment. Stripes. Requires money, more secondary more money. research. Things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs. Graphs about things and money. We have our new product. Target demographic. Teenagers. Okay, this is a def uh, game development company. Uh, the stock market is somewhere here. Colored in segment. Stripes. Requires more secondary research. Target demographic. Teenagers. Who's hot? Profits, profits, profits. Profits. Profits, profits. Telephone directory. Wait, wait, we have a we have our new product. Graphs about things and money. Yep, because we want things, happy feelings, and they fired Mike James or Mike and James, I don't know. Money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things, graphs, graphs about things and money. That's our new product. By quarterly post review review. You need a lot of more, not more, less reviews. 402 and 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip to appear to the teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographics. Big net. Some sort of child trap? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Throw something in the idea bin. Work harder, hard worker. Teenagers, size of demographic, space between the teenagers, a lot of... <laughs> uh, no more ring train no more scam. No bins. No more bins, trash cans, 20 remaining of the idea of 30... No, that, that's 1 dot, 2 dot, 3 dot. Ah, 1 dot, 2 dot. Okay, I see bullet points with also numbers. Firing of MG. Firing of MG. Uh, yeah. No more bins, trash cans, remaining of the idea bin. Okay. Interesting. Work harder. Hard worker. This is terrible. Just terrible. But this is the work life. Broom closet. Hey, isn't there a guy in the broom closet? There was. I was expecting Stanley a skeleton. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on I track. think there's something here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No Maybe we could be in the closet. Here. Wait, wait, wait. Is that is that a radioactive symbol? No, that's a spool of... It was baffling that Stanley was... Something. That's a radiation a broom symbol. Closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was Please something stay in room room closet, closet and do nothing. In some way. As it is, Thank you, Shogun. All right. There, Give the fans what they want. Cafe. <laughs> that, 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 is, that is a radiation symbol are right there. You, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation. It's more entertaining than work! Confused. Giving the fans what they want. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? 
If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because we're, we're looking for the guy who's stuck in the broom closet. Absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Don't move. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Well, this is fairly entertaining right now. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Sounds about right. Yes. I like the Stanley guy. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Oh, is he going to kill us again? Got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. That is a nice thing to do. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So I don't think they need to know all about that. And insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Do you want us to stay in here longer or go back in the hallway? The narrator seems to be done. Maybe we can look at the radiation symbol some more. And now yeah, look at that. it looks like a radiation symbol, but it's like just a spool of um, wiring or something. Yeah, but I mean, it looks like a radiation symbol. I mean, that could be plutonium in there. Mm. This facility could be manufacturing nuclear warheads. We, we could be in uh, uh, Kuwait right mm. now. Mm. They, they manufacture nuclear warheads, right? Sure. Uh, we just we go outside and go back to it. Go outside and go back in it? All mm -hmm. right. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you too. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story. Again. Have you played this game before? Who, me? No, the Shogun. Uh, I would assume so, maybe. I mean, it's a fairly old game. Mm. Mm. This a is, lot of people have played it. I know. This is our first time. So I was just wondering if he knows, like, some Easter eggs or whatever. Go back in again. Okay, I think we exhausted all the options. Oh, remember the demo he was talking about climbing stairs forever? Mm -hmm. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's or... office. Or... Oh, it's all red. That's spooky. Oh, a flattened cardboard box. We can build a fort. 
It's where somebody was like hunkered down smoking uh, cigarettes on the job. See, I don't play it, but I watched it. But don't spoil the game. But don't spoil the game. Awesome. Great to have you on board. We hate spoilers. Got really quiet. Yeah, games do that sometimes. Can we but Stanley the... just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Notice that the brake lights are on. This, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever yes. he went? Yes. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. And now we're lucid his dreaming. That means we're, the control we're in control of the dream. He wasn't going to lose his job. Inception. After all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Schizophrenia. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought yes. it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, Not much awake at all. Speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did or the a voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he we got a new quest. Gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The oh, we're going to wake up in the office back. again, aren't we? The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Nope, we're not in the office. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. And now I wake up in the office.
This is the story of a woman named uh, Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Do they? And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, no one's normal. Man made her We're all crazy. Better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. If this is how the school and system and the corporate world wants you to think. <laughs> Don't care about anybody else. Just show up at work on time, do your job, leave on time, go home, come back again. Over just and over and over. follow the rules and everything's okay. Yep, just follow the rules, fall in line, do everything you're told. Don't question authority. Don't question orders. Just... Just do. Hmm. Uh, okay, and it's uh, four o'clock now. Um, I think this is a good place to save and uh, continue next week. Okay, so, so next week we'll continue to play this, this and I'm going to try all, and do the right thing and go to the boss's office this time, if I can remember. Uh, so can we save? Maybe. Uh, Options. That's the nope. Extras. Saves. Saves, saves are there disabled. Are. What? No. Enable the saves. There we go. Achievement disabled. What? But we got achievements. Ah, uh, achievement unlocked. Achievement. Achievements are on. Oh, that's how you get that. Okay. Cool. Cool. Ah, now save. we can save. Okay. Save at the very beginning. Save. New saved game? New saved game? No saved game. Uh, is it blah? Back. Save. 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 S save game. Game. Save. save game. Save game. Saves are enabled. Um... Resume the game. I mean, we're right at the beginning. Wait, that's different. He didn't say the bloody blah blah and the people. Yeah, and the phone. The phone is different. It is different. From her phone's ringing the first time. We pick it up. Which one is it? <laughs> It's probably one of the more modern looking ones. By modern, I mean, I mean 80s looking ones. Uh, let's see, maybe you can't save on start. Well, there was a, there was a phone back there with a red light. To the right. Behind you. Right there. Let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. Why is she calling 434? We need 434? Milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. Why is she calling 434 when our office is 427? Is she having an affair with 434? His name is also Stanley. She doesn't think for Stanleys. That makes sense. That is a sexy name. Uh, can we try saving now? Could 
Could we try saving now? Hold on. Just one more. Just one, one, one more what? <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There we go. Now let's try to save. Save. No save game. No save game. Is it a double click? Ah, Tuesday, June 1st, 408. There we go. Okay, we saved. <laughs> That's a shit ton of stuff to lose. I have died and cheated the game I don't know how many times. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so next week, um, about the same time, give or take, uh, assuming we can get together, um, more Stanley Parable. Uh, and in the meantime, remember, did this make you laugh? Did this make you smile? Did this brighten your day in any way, shape, or form whatsoever? If it did, pass it on. I find, found it hilarious. <laughs> find someone you care about. Make them laugh. Make them smile. Brighten their day. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And with that... I will see you, or we will see you, when we see you. Whoa, guys, before you leave, thank you for watching. I forget to say that sometimes. You don't have to watch, but you do, so thank you. Also, did you know I have a Patreon? I do. Video games aren't free. Sucks, right? So, I need to fund this channel somehow. You get access to a private Discord channel, and if more people sign up, I'll start letting patrons vote on what games I play. Minimum pledge is one dollar, and thank you to the people who have already signed up. It really does help. And if you're not in a financial position to help support through Patreon, then don't. Take care of yourself first. But do consider subscribing if you haven't already. If the channel does well enough, I can start earning revenue off those ads that YouTube is forcing on all of us. Again, video games aren't free. And once again, thank you to everybody.